So we're gonna be talking today about the one thing that I think every single person who wants to work in technology or who works in technology needs to have. This is one thing that I find essential for every single person in tech to have. We're gonna be talking about that today. You're on YouTube, do the subscribe, the button, click on the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Now technology is incredibly vast as you I'm sure are very, very well aware. If you work in tech, uh, you're probably sitting in one of the two sort of camps, one being around desktop, sysadmin, infrastructure, or development. They're sort of the two main camps. One would be all around your level one, level two, level three type of support. So people who work in service desk, in help desk, do some desktop support, the support analysts, technicians, and those who work more with the infrastructure type of technologies. Your networking, servers, security, the cloud, all of that sort of stuff. And then you've got the development side, which is now the people who are making the stuff. Programs, applications, websites, you know, you've got front end, you've got full stack developers, you've got UI, UX experts. Of course, outside of these two main camps, you've got people who now work a little bit more with business analytics, uh, they work with system analytics, they could be like data scientists, they could have all these other specialist sorts of roles. Now, I don't know your story, I don't know how you got into technology, uh, but for me, I got into tech because I enjoyed technology. And that's one thing that I find is lacking in so many people. Now, I actually have to hire people from time to time. One thing that I find, which is extremely common, are a whole stack of CVs that have got all of the skills that I need for a job. Let's say I'm hiring for a systems engineer job and I'm looking for all these specific skills. I want them to have server skills, networking skills, skills in the cloud. Then you've got a little section around their qualifications and they've got all the, all the right certs. And then you start to talk to them and then you realize that they know their stuff, that's really good, but they're not that excited about it. Or, or you ask them about, well, what do you do in your own spare time? Uh, what do you do outside of your work? How do you stay up to date? How do you get trained? A lot of the time people who are in IT are so busy doing their job that when they leave their job, they don't really have the spark, the excitement about the technology. They don't actually live and breathe technology. And this is something that I find very, very common. It's, it's unfortunately very, very common that people who work in tech don't develop their craft as much as they should. But further to that, they don't seem to have a passion for technology. And that is the key. That is the small little secret that I think every single IT person who is actually quite good should have is they should actually enjoy what they do. If somebody just stumbled into technology, maybe they're working in a completely different career, and then they just were one day were offered an opportunity to work in tech and they just sort of was like, oh yeah, I'll give that a shot. A few red flags there, because that says to me that you didn't pursue it. What about people who, before they even got into technology, before they even started working in a job, they were maybe, you know, at school, and what did they do for their spare time? Did they actually enjoy playing with computers, opening up computers, installing stuff? Were they big into gaming? That's a really big one. A lot of people are into gaming uh, because they enjoy that whole space. So what do you do? What do you enjoy doing when you're finishing work? I mean, me, right? I, I have a, a full-time job in IT. That's, that's what I do in IT. But when I get home, I enjoy playing with my computers. I have a home lab that I have built. And I've built a home lab because I liked the hardware. I liked racking some servers and some switches and configuring all of that. You know, I do stuff like this. The, the YouTubing, the online education. I've got a whole bunch of training courses that I develop around technology. And it's not just, yes, it's nice. It gives me a little bit of an extra income on the side of my you know, permanent job, but I actually enjoy technology. It encourages and, and forces me to be up to speed, up to date with what's happening in tech. And it's not because I have to do it, but I actually enjoy doing it. I love technology. Have a passion for tech. And if you have gotten a little bit dry, a little bit cold, and you don't find that you're as excited, 
get excited because if you enjoy tech, then you'll enjoy what you're doing at work and you'll be better at your job because you actually enjoy what you're doing. So there you go, the key right there, passion. A passion for technology is the key. Subscribe, comment, like, we'll see you next time.